YouTube, what's up? Another day, another reaction. Actually, uh, it's, it's not another day I'm wearing the same clothes because I've recorded these two videos back to back. But uh, when I say two videos, I mean the last video I got up, which was a reaction to Lothar Mateus. If you're interested in that, uh, if you're interested in that, be sure to go check it out on the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to another midfielder. Next up on the list is Rude Hullet. So today's video is from Barbosa once again. We've reacted to Barbosa football videos before. Uh, here's an interesting quote in the description, a quote from George Best. By the way, I have a George Best reaction out too already. We're going through a list of all the Ballon d'Or winners, or the list on Wikipedia anyway. Check out the last video if you don't know what I mean by that. But uh, anyway, it says, Rude Hole is a great player by any standards. He has all of the skills. He's not afraid to do things with the ball, and he looks as if he's enjoying every second of it. Uh, Mateus and Hollet, my understanding, two of the greatest kind of all-round, well-rounded, box-to-box-ish midfielders of all time. Um, never got to see any of them play, unfortunately. I talked about a lot in the last video how I wish I could have seen Bayern in their heyday, and I wish I really could have seen Hollet at his teams in their heyday. Uh, this would have been super cool. Anyway, uh, link to the original video will be down in the description below, as per usual, and uh, let's get into it. Rude Hullet. Played for AC Milan, obviously. Ajax as well, I think. I think those were his two main clubs. That was a national team, it looked like, I think. Yeah, he played for Chelsea as well, that's right. Unless I'm totally losing my mind. But yeah, I'm, I'm super excited for this, man. I want to finish up this series for you guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions below, things I should react to as well, be sure to let me know in the comments. Or, you know, come by my Twitch channel and let me know in chat. Live on Twitch six days a week. Quick little plug. But, uh, yeah. Music's a vibe. Players a vibe too. George Best said it best, huh? Not meant to be a pun. But yeah, George Best said he has fun while he's doing it all. It's just too easy for some players, huh? Wow, around the keeper, you see that a lot in these videos. I mean, you see that a lot in football in general, but uh, not not easy to do from my personal experience. There's a hell of a header. It's got shorter hair there. That looks weird. Used to the dreads. Oof. That's a banger. Speaking of a banger, the song is kind of a banger. <laughs> I make myself cringe, man. Wow, he chips it. I really want to analyze these clips, this video. Let's see. He's running through, splits the defense completely, and boom. He rolls it past the keeper. There's a banger to the bottom left. Love to see it. Wow. It just kind of looked like he toe poked it there, but it just goes top net. <laughs> I have chills once again. I get goosebumps every video. It's just so iconic. Whoa. There's a header with his hair flopping through the wind. <laughs> Let him go, man. He's got four guys around him. Wow. He played in a wide variety of positions, I believe. It's my understanding. Periods of his career where he 
all over the place. Very well rounded. Super good in the air, as you can see. What is that? Three, four headers in a row now? <laughs> Another one. Chips it. Beautiful. That must have been a really important goal. The whole team comes out and celebrates. Maybe it was in the last minute. Around the keeper again. <laughs> My man's dancing, bro. What a player. What a mentality. What a persona. Ah, uh, there he is. That's the iconic colt we all know and love. The more I watch these videos of any player, man, you just realize how masterful they all really are. It's insane. For the national team again. The guy just can't get the ball off him. Wow. Another header. Ooh, a hell of a pass. Does he finish that? Yeah, he does. Nice. Song choice is a little, little interesting. Here we go. <laughs> right when I say something, it switches up. Wow. Ooh, off the crossbar in. Oh my. Ooh, there he is in the box. Double header. Heads it and then scores a header off his rebound. Crazy. Dude was a beast in the air. There's a diving header. It just jumps up above the keeper. This guy was special, man. Truly special. Free kick? Another free kick. Let's go. Three in a row? Oh my god. They're all just top corner, man. Wow. Nothing too crazy there, but it's just... It doesn't matter when you're clinical. But yeah, look at that. It feels weird to see him with his haircut. For me, anyway. I've, I've never seen a hullet like that. I've only seen the long hair hullet. That one. Oh my gosh. What an interesting finish. He hits it with like his knee. That's crazy. Ooh, some potato picture quality. Still a hell of a header though, you can tell. It's a little better. Van Persie has man. Actually, Van Persie World Cup. Perfect positioning there to just let her bounce in off his foot. Folly, oh my god, it's disgusting. Oh wow. Holy. Wow. What a video, man. What a player. So cool. Wild.
absolutely wild. That's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this type of content, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you'd like to. You know, drop a comment below. And like I said earlier, let me know what you'd like to see me react to next. Right now, I have a focus on football players, soccer players, whatever you want to call it, that played before my day. So, you know, anyone, anyone who played in the 90s or prior is really what I'm focused on right now. But, uh... As I mentioned earlier, we're going through a list of Ballon d'Or winners. So after Holy, you guys will need to tune in to the next episode to see who's coming up next. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, guys, once again. Thanks for all the support so far. Love you guys, and peace out. Also, check out my Twitch. Peace.